Good Thursday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning and talk about what we can expect as we go through the day today. Very warm start to the day, 68 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury, 67 degrees here at the Weather Center in Atwell. And you can see temperatures in the upper 60s for the most part. There's 63 up there toward uh, the Mount Airy area coming in this morning as one of the cooler spots on the map, as well as 63 down towards Spindale. And then, of course, there are some temperatures in the 70s, like over toward uh, Burke County there, toward Morganton, 75 degrees this morning. So uh, very warm start for everyone today this morning. You can see there's some isolated showers and thunderstorms going on uh, in the mountains this morning and a severe thunderstorm going on actually right now over toward the Asheville area. And that's what we're going to see really as we go through the day today, and especially into the afternoon hours. These showers and storms are going to be very isolated. Let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at the, at the picture overall here. And they're going to be very isolated as they make their way through the area to where some of us will see rain, some of us won't. As you can tell just from the example from what we're seeing already this morning, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the model data and show you what the models are showing. Just keep in mind that... Uh, you know, this is just data. It's going to sporadically throw stuff up here, but that's not conclusive as to what might happen because all the models are showing something different. Uh, this just happens to be a rapid refresh model, which is one that cleans itself up every hour to try to make things uh, get more in line with the weather. So this is at uh, 12 noon today. We'll take you to 1 p.m. and you see isolated showers take place around the county and the area. This is now 2 p.m. seeing the possibility of isolated thunderstorms and showers going on, especially around the county. I don't think it's going to be that broad in terms of, of coverage. It would be nice if the whole county got rain, but uh, it's going to be very hit or miss today. Uh, then as we go to 3 p.m., you see an isolated thunderstorm possible off to the east. Uh, 4 p.m., you see things get very, very isolated. 5 p.m., still some spotty and isolated showers and thunderstorms possible. 6 p.m., uh, now seven, eight, and then of course nine, and you see things have pretty much ended by that point. So it's gonna be a very, very isolated chance for severe weather today. We do have a slight risk for severe weather, which is a level two out of five uh, from the Storms Prediction Center. Uh, we'll continue to keep you updated on that as well. Uh, the big thing you can expect in terms of impacts from severe storms, if you happen to get one, are gonna be damaging winds, hail, and uh, of course, frequent lightning. Uh, very, very low risk for a tornado, but the thing with these storms today uh, is because they're gonna be isolated in nature, they would they would likely be supercell potentials there, so they could get a tornado going, but again, that chance is pretty low right now. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. Get a word from our friends at Patterson Farm. We'll come back, we'll give you the weather impacts, the fall outlook and more. All that's coming up right after this. Weather impacts for today, sponsored by Patterson Farm. The very berry days going on right now. You can go out and pick your own strawberries. Uh, if you don't have the time, the ability, or just uh, not interested in picking your own strawberries, you can get pre-picked strawberries from the market and from several satellite locations they have around the uh, county and the area as well. For more information, visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash very hyphen berry hyphen days. And you can get all the details on everything going on out at Patterson Farm right now with the very berry days. We'll see mostly sunny conditions for most of the day with hot temperatures out there. We're going to be in the 90s. Winds will be out of the west at around 5 to 10 miles an hour, except if you happen to get an isolated shower or thunderstorm, uh, the winds could give you, uh, you could see winds really get up if it gets, if it becomes a severe thunderstorm up to around 50, 60 miles an hour. So certainly keep that in mind. Uh, very isolated showers, thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. Some storms could be strong as severe. And as I said, 
Uh, some of us will see rain, some of us will not. It's possible the entire county doesn't see any rain today uh, it, as these are going to be that isolated in nature. And it's possible most everybody in the county sees rain. So it can go either way here. We'll continue to keep an eye on it, keep you updated. The Pollen Outlook sponsored by Good Nights Lawn Care. These guys take care of my lawn and I love it. They offer services like mowing, trimming, seeding, mulch, pine straw, and more. For more information on services provided, give them a call 980-521-1937. Main pollen drivers are Birch, Hickory, and Maple. You can see we've got high levels of pollen expected for today and Friday. Uh, the, the data for Saturday had not come in yet, but it's likely we'll see high levels for Saturday as well, uh, as that's been the way we've been trending for quite a while now. The mowing forecast, got yellow lights for today and Saturday with isolated shower and thunderstorm chances for the afternoon hours. Again, uh, especially with today, you might not see any rain at all. So uh, it's a hit or miss type situation on Friday. Dry conditions are expected. It's going to be hot throughout this entire period, so make sure that if you are doing yard work, you stay hydrated, and if you need to, take some frequent breaks as well, just to uh, uh, keep yourself safe out there in terms of from the heat. The mosquito forecast: high levels of activity today and Saturday, with medium levels of activity on Friday. You may be asking why. Why Friday with medium levels, especially if it's not raining? It's actually going to be because of the wind. Conditions on Friday are going to be very gusty, very windy, and mosquitoes tend to stay grounded when it's windy like that. So uh, you're not going to see as much activity with them for that reason on Friday. The forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Today, partly sunny skies, high of 90 degrees. We'll see a 30% chance of very isolated showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening with a low of 64. Uh, a slight risk that these storms will be severe, so keep that in mind. Again, some of us will see rain, some of us won't. As I mentioned earlier, it's possible the entire county doesn't see any rain at all. And then again, most of the county could see rain. It's gonna be that type of situation as we go through the afternoon and evening hours today. On Friday, sunny skies high of 95 degrees with uh, clear or mostly clear skies Friday evening, the low of 68. For Saturday, sunny skies high of 94 with a 30% chance of isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening hours being possible. We'll see a low of 67 on Sunday. Rain chances tend to get better for us on Sunday and Monday as we uh, continue to move through the forecast period. Partly sunny skies during the day, high of 91. 60% chance of afternoon showers and thunderstorms possible on Sunday with a low of 66. For Monday, partly sunny skies during the day with a high of 83. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms possible in the afternoon and evening hours. And then for Tuesday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies with a high of 77, low of 63, and a 40% chance of isolated showers are possible. Still working on the timing for that with the model data. And once we get that figured out, we'll certainly give you an idea of when to expect the rain chances on Tuesday. If you're looking for ways to stay up there with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Thursday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.